Boom. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. I want to talk to you today about something called your gut microbiome. Well, what does that control? And the answer is everything. From your skin health, to your overall health, to your immunity, to how your stomach feels, to your energy, your gut microbiome plays a role in every single part. And I want to tell you how you could take care of your gut microbiome. But first, let me read to you what the gut microbiome is by people much smarter than me. So this comes, this definition comes from a guy named Joshua Letterberg. So it is the totality of microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and fungi, and their collective genetic material present in the gastrointestinal tract. So the thing about your microbiome, it's an overall health of your gut. Think about it as your gut's ecosystem. Like you go into a forest, and there's trees, and there's animals, and you have the soil, and the soil is nourished by animals eating other animals or plants and pooping in the soil, and the poop makes it fertilized, and next thing you know, you have these beautiful plants and trees. Animals can do the cycle of life. Some animals eat plants. Those animals eat plants, get eaten by other animals. That's the ecosystem of your gut. So there are ways to improve your gut microbiome. And these are the scientific ways, the ways with some science um, attached to them that really, really work. So number one is eat a diverse range of food. Okay, a diverse range of food helps to lead to a diverse microbiota, which again is associated with the microbiome. That's the total ecosystem of your gut, right? If we eat a non-diverse diet, which a lot of fitness people do, that can actually be more bad for you than it is good. Next, you want to eat vegetables, legumes, and beans. One reason is the fiber. And I'm going to explain why the fiber is so important later. Fermented foods, kimchi, sauerkraut, things like that, phenomenal for your overall gut health. Um, prebiotic foods. What are prebiotic foods? Um, a lot of fruits are prebiotic foods. Um, another one is whole grains. Again, I think that more... That, that kind of leads to the whole fiber thing. So in the large intestine, grains are, grains are broken down by the microbiota and promote the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut. Eat a plant-based diet. Now, I am not a plant-based guy. However, eating more vegetables, again, the fiber and the process of breaking down vegetables is extremely beneficial to your gut microbiome. Um, and another one, take a probiotic supplement, but I want to get further into that. Now, there's a product that I have that I made with Brandon Curry, and this is 015 Nutrition Happy Guts. It has something called Core Biome in it, and I'm going to get into exactly what that does. But first, let me get into some other things. So, for optimal gut health, we need approximately 40 grams of carbohydrate per day that reach the colon in undigested forms, from vegetables to resistant starches. These convert to short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs. And low SCFA levels of butyrate are associated with an unhealthy immune response. The gut is everything for your immune system. And with all these weird viruses floating around, what a better time to pay attention to that. Improvement in blood flow and tissue oxygenation via butyrate can help intestinal health. Again, the short-chain fatty acids aid in all of those functions. So then it promotes the formation of new blood vessels, modulates immune function, and provides for the health of cells lining blood vessels. Short chain fatty acids are the foundation of gut health and arguably human health. Here's another one. 95% of America is deficient in fiber. What nourishes the gut? Fiber. What does the gut do with fiber? Produces short chain fatty acids. Why are short chain fatty acids important? They nourish the gut and prevent intestinal permeability. 70% of the immune system resides in the gut. Core biome, which is found in happy guts, is a unique derivative of a short chain fatty acid called butyrate, which is naturally produced by healthy bacteria in our gut. So as we read before, you need 40 grams of carbohydrate from vegetables or resistant starches to get the benefits. Now what core biome does, it does it in four 
really easy to take pills. Here's how the pills look right here. Four of these easy to take pills. So here's the thing. We vegetables, a certain amount is broken down in the stomach and small intestine. The undigested portion travels to the large intestine where it serves as food, a aka prebiotics. We talked about those earlier for your gut microbiota, which is your gut bacteria. The bacteria of your gut love prebiotics. And in turn, they produce short chain fatty acids, including butyrate, propionate, and acetate. Propionate and acetate enter the bloodstream and help regulate blood sugar and insulin, right? Unless you're talking about the other propionate and acetate. 90% of butyrate, however, is used for energy by mucos mucosal cells that reduce gut permeability. In other words, butyrate helps heal small holes in your gut lining, aka the large intestine lining, so bacteria and toxic waste don't leave the gut and escape into the blood screen, bloodstream. Think of it when you get a flat tire in your car. Okay, you ever buy that fix a flat stuff, you spray it and you don't even have to go and get it fixed and it clogs the hole. It basically goes, you drive it and it goes through the entire tire, entire tire, entire tire and boom, it finds the hole and it clogs it. That is what butyrate does. That is what the core biome in Happy Guts does. Now with Happy Guts, you also have the prebiotic blend the pro, I'm sorry, the probiotic blend, which is all of the main three probiotics, and you have a ton of them, 158 CFUs, that's huge, 750 total milligrams, and a digestive enzyme blame, amylase, protease, lactase, lipase, and cellulase, amazing product here. I'm really proud of this. This is my favorite product I've made, probably. This is amazing. I'm so excited to get this in. I will give you some anecdotal um, feedback. I've been taking this for three days. I've never felt better. My energy's through the roof. I've been able to train twice a day. That's the thing. If you don't have a gut health, if you don't have gut health, you're not going to be able to be optimal. I've literally been boxing and lifting almost every day, and I've never felt better. I've never felt better. I'll tell you what. Add this into your life. I guarantee you, you will perform better. You will train harder. You have more energy at work. You'll sleep better and you'll have amazing bowel movements and 100% money, money back guarantee from Tiger Fitness. This is not a sales pitch, kind of is. But I want to tell you about microbiome and I've been fascinated with microbiome, fascinated with immune health and I am so proud and so far this is delivering. I'm going to link it down below. But anyway, that's the whole story. If you don't buy this product, you don't have to buy anything I talk about, okay? I want you to do some things. If you don't buy Happy Guts, I want you to make sure you get plenty of fruits and vegetables in your diet. I want to make sure you get plenty of fiber up to a point. You don't need to go over 50 or 60 grams of fiber a day. That's what's great about this. You don't have to take two pounds of broccoli to get that in. Yeah, two pounds of broccoli. I said that correctly. You have to take four caps. You eat four pounds of broccoli, you're going to feel terrible. This, it's pills. Makes you feel great. Get your vegetables, get your fermented foods, get your sauerkraut, get your kimchi, eat healthy, eat a variety of healthy foods, eat sweet potatoes, baked potatoes, color hues galore, peppers, you name it, bell peppers, red peppers, eat different kinds of meat, eat your fish, your salmon, eat your chicken, your steak, get variety of foods, do that and you'll feel better than ever. I'm Mark Lobliner here to talk about your guts and again, guys. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Why don't you like this video and of course, click the notification bell. And I will see you on May 8th at Rumble in the Borough. Link down below. Meet Brandon Curry, meet Mike Rasheed, meet Jason Poston, and more names coming and coming and coming. Even Fuad's gonna be there. So many names. The Bomars are gonna be there. Brandon fucking Chris Jones, you name it, they're gonna be there. Best event ever in the history of fitness. The biggest expo of 2021. Over 20 amateur USA boxing sanctioned matches as well as a power Powerlifting meat. Go to rumbleintheborough.com for ticket and hotel information, and that's not a game.